you guys look where I am today I'm back in fashion file completely different from when I was last year this is incredible they have an insane Chanel wall they've got Goyard Hermes so let me do a quick overview I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of these bags as well so much eye candy here look at this peacock tin this is in the so black so it's got the black hardware this is rose gold croc this is the Constance 24 so beautiful and this is the dream this is the kelly 25 palladium hardware epsom this is the dream bag for me i'd love it in gold hardware and then this over here is the little pochette really similar to the mini kelly but it's just wider and it fits actually quite a bit more it doesn't have a strap but it's got this very cute top handle we've got the mini evelyn going on here and then there's some great goyard pieces i love this little trunk this one is probably my favorite Goyard bag. I forget the name of this. Let me know down below in the comments because I, I'm not too familiar with the Goyard bags, but this one is definitely my favorite. Here it is in the larger size. And then we've got some gold pieces over here. This is the Birkin 30, so classic. This is in the return style, so the classic style. And uh, I love it in the Cellier which is, is there a Cellier? I'm sure I'll show you a Cellier at one point. But um, yeah, this is so pretty absolutely love that one we've got the kelly wallet in gold and epsom then we've got this togo picotin 18 gold hardware and if there's prices i'll absolutely mention it we've got the hermes oran in a tube this is recent like they just came out with this one um in the last summer then they've got this lizard over oh, is this lizard or is it snakeskin actually i think this is snakeskin constance this again is the 18 size in palladium they've got the oh this is rose gold this is so pretty now this i think is not a tube this i think is their new one called gris meyer it could be a tan which is very similar but i'm pretty sure this is their gris meyer and it's in rose gold the yellow gold versus rose gold very pretty I think I definitely prefer the regular gold, but people love the rose gold because it's pretty um, rare. And then this is another Kelly 25. Is this the 25? Let me see. Because this is in the return, and the return always looks smaller than the... Um, yeah, no, so this is the 28, actually. So this is the 25 in Cellier. The 25 in return is actually even smaller than this because all return bags, because of their inside out they just um they look smaller so as you can see a kelly 28 isn't that much bigger than the 25 in cellier um, but if you were to see a kelly 28 which is the size but in the cellier it would be quite a lot bigger and then my favorite they've got these cute little mini kelly gold hardware this is in nata and noir i don't know if this is a special order for sure because sometimes um Hermes recently they've been making um, oh yeah, it is a horseshoe, so it is a special order. But sometimes they've been making these tricolor or bicolor bags, um, and they're not special order. They're just like a special edition. But they said that this one is, so let's open it up and see. There you can see the horseshoe. So whenever you see that symbol, it means it was custom made for a client. And the interior is so pretty. Yeah, this uh, Nada color is very pretty. I'm gonna close that off camera. And then up there, I'm definitely gonna try some of these on for you. I think those two, the Kelly and the Birkin are in Cre, and then Nada is in the Ostrich. Maybe a little zoom in. Um, I think, not 100% sure, but I'll ask the girls here who are so lovely. And then that is a Kelly Dance up there. We've got a Birkin 25, and we've got some Louis Vuitton on this wall. So right now I'm gonna to cut to me trying on some Hermes and then I'm definitely gonna show you the rest of the showroom. I'm gonna show you some Chanel. I'll just do a little quick sneak peek of the Chanel because there's so many good Chanel bags. So yeah, let me try on some of the Birkins and Kellys and then I will cut back to this area. Okay, I'm about to try on these, but I wanted to show you to do a quick little comparison. So this, as you can see, is Return. And this is the 25, this is the 28, but look how close, this is the 25 Cellier, look how close these look. And then I'm gonna put this one, this one's in Cre, by the way, gold hardware. The Cellier one, this one looks just a little bit smaller. And the thing is, this is in white, so if it was in black, it would look even more little. But let me try them on for you guys. Okay, so here is the 
Cellier 25. This is the Return 25. I'm gonna just do one at a time at first, but I wanted to quickly show you. Like this one looks so little because it's Return. Um, but yeah, let me put this one away so you can see it just as is. Okay, so here it is on the shoulder. That's why the Kelly is so great. You can wear it on the shoulder. This is the 25 size, and this is what I'm telling you guys. 25 size is the best size. You can also pop it on. Oops, crossbody. And it looks great versus if you get the 28, I mean, it just doesn't look good crossbody. Um, and the other thing that's kind of unfortunate, no matter what, um, your this handle is gonna bend a bit. You can tell whoever owned this one before. This one I can tell it's a little bit older, but because it's an Epsom, um, it still looks pristine. But this handle has been like it's very easily easily bendable. But that's gonna happen no matter what if you wear it crossbody. Um, but yeah, I think it just looks great on the shoulder. The palladium is really really nice. And let me put on the return style. So here is the return style, and there you can see very similar this one just looks so much smaller um let me pop this one there we go there you can kind of compare it a little bit better it's a great bag but i don't know a return if i had the option it's not for me um but it does look so cute and little let me compare this to the mini kelly so you can see the difference so here i have the mini kelly and i'm going to show you what that looks cross body on on its own so definitely a lot smaller than the 25 right but yeah that definitely makes this look a lot bigger let me just show you what this one looks cross body i actually thought this might because this one here is a special order i feel like the strap length is not as long but i'll find out okay so i talked to the girls and yeah this one because this is a custom order they made a shorter strap length which is so silly because it kind of defeats the purpose of having a mini kelly that you can wear it like nice cross body this one is really short um so it's not a great comparison it's so great these little mini kelly's they're so cute and um they're a great little piece. They'll fit your iPhone, they'll fit your wallet, you know, your essentials, keys. And there you can kind of see it side by side. And then I have here for comparison, because these are the most popular sizes for the Birkin. This is the 25 black gold hardware, and this is the classic gold 30. So there you can see the difference. Obviously this has a much larger drop, so you can put it at the crook of your arm. This you can put it on your wrist, and let me compare them in the mirror for you guys. Okay, so here we have the two Birkin sizes. You can see this is quite, you know, it's quite substantial, the 30, versus this cute little baby one. It looks so small when you have them side by side, but if I were to just come up with this one, it's not that, that small. So let me show you what they look like on their own. Here is the baby Birkin, first up. You see, it's like, some people just think it's so small, but it's really not. It's really not, and it fits a lot. So this is my favorite. I'm gonna quickly show you now the Birkin on its own, the 30, but love this little baby size 25 Birkin in the classic return. Uh, the Cellier ones are beautiful, but they look even smaller because they're more structured. So here is the 30, really great size. I love the gold on gold. It's really, really beautiful. So great size. Let me know which one you prefer. Do you like the 25 or the 30 more? A lot of people feel like, okay, this is gonna be way more practical, but I mean, my choice is the 25. I just definitely prefer that little baby size. Okay, we're back at the overview of the wall, and this is Chanel. Lots of great seasonal pieces, classics. And this one, I wonder if this is new. They've kind of been doing something really similar lately, but I have a feeling that this is actually quite old. I wonder. It might have a tag inside but see people have just been loving this with like you know the chanel 19 with the chunky hardware but i don't know i'm just not a fan it's really like 80s aesthetic let me know if you like it obviously a lot of people really like it this is a cute little bag this is a newer piece um it has this little top handle with the cc's really cute and then there's this patent this is a seasonal bag not a classic flap um and it's a single flap and then they've got the classic flap this is a double flap in chevron and caviar again oh i remember this one one of the girls that i interviewed for um, my street style videos was wearing this exact bag and i love the little acrylic um black parts on the top handle really pretty 
this little vanity case. And then now this is so unique. Look at this little bar. This is a great piece. I've never seen this one before. Then there's some boy bags. Now this boy bag is really unique because look, it has a top handle. And this one, it also, as you can see on the lettering, it's got the classic quilting on it. It's in lambskin. And I've actually never seen a boy bag. Actually, no, that's not true. I was gonna say, I've never seen a boy bag with a top handle, but I have actually. They have, this one's great because it can rest down, but I have seen some of them. It's almost like the Chanel Coco handle where it's very like uh, stiff, right? And you can't pop it down. Oh, and then even, look at that. I didn't notice that. It's got the quilting on the closure. That's really nice. And then over here, they've got some of their classic beiges. This is the jumbo in the beige clair. And then look at this. So this is a trendy in the larger size. This is in the medium. So I think we're used to seeing them in the small. And I'm pretty sure there's like two sizes below this. Maybe it's just one size below this. This still has the plastic on the Chanel bar. Really delicate, this bag. In general, the trendies are um, because it's an untreated lambskin. And then, let's see, this is from their Coco Crush collection. It's got that little, um, you can lengthen the strap and change the strap length, which is really nice. And it could cross body. This kind of has like a peachy undertone. And it's got that antique gold hardware. And then this one over here, very similar. They've got gold. This is so pretty. This is very like iridescent. This is the mini square. And yeah, you don't see a lot of mini squares. You see a lot of the rectangulars, but yeah, that one's really nice. They've got the heart bag from the last collection um, when they were doing these little heart bags in gold. And then they've got the new 22 bag. What do we think of this bag? It's funny, this bag, so many people hated it when it came out and then it really grew on a lot of us, but I'm just, I'm not a fan of this one. I don't. I don't get it. Um, and then, I love these loafers, they're so cool. It's got the little turn lock, really pretty. Now this, I don't know what material this is. It's not a tweed, is it? No, it's kind of like, hmm. Let me know in the comments what type of material this is. The chain strap is almost like a rattan material. It does look really pretty with the antique gold hardware. And then up there, they've got the DeVille tote, and look at it, it's got the pearls on it. Really nice. Oh, I see a lot of really amazing things, actually. This bag over here with the top handle is great, and as you can see, it's got the aged calfskin, so it looks very vintage. And then look at the top detail. That's why Chanel is so special, because it has all of these little special details versus, let's say, Hermes is just very minimalistic. There's no little details or anything like that um i think that's why people love chanel so much at least that's why i like the brand and yeah it's a crumpled lambskin so it has that kind of aged effect similar to the way they make their uh reissue handbags since we're showing everything they've got these classic boots little pearl detail chanel they've got the quilting this is a seasonal piece this is cool with the little ruched part another 19 bag and then look at this little square mini i love this it's so neat and it has like very different normally it's like chevron or quilting this is cool with the squares it's got champagne hardware and then this is a white classic flap silver hardware beautiful bag this is in the medium size classic slingbacks boy bag and like this bluish gray with ruthenium hardware now this is a beautiful piece because again, I'm not a fan at all of the Chanel 19 bag, but I love their tweed versions. Um, some of you guys who are fans, you'll know that there's the, that Oreo one, which is like one of the most sought after tweed designs of the 19 bag. And I think it just looks so beautiful in this material, especially this colorway. This is in the small size, my favorite size. I don't like the bigger ones. Then they've got in Chevron, they've got the boy bag, caviar gorgeous and then this up here i want to show you look at that bag maybe i will try this one on so neat it's a seasonal bag it's got all of these sequins on it and it spells out chanel see there's the 19 bag in the large size and again not a fan 
They've got a classic flap in silver, and this over here is the trendy CC. So yeah, let me try on a couple of Chanel bags real quick. I just wanna show you these bags really quickly. This was from their airport collection. Um, I forget how many years ago this was, but I think it was like before my time, before I started getting into Chanel, but it was such a great collection. Um, like these pieces are really sought after. So cool with a little airplane and it's got the little stud details. And then check out this little beaded bag over here. This is amazing. This is a, not a rectangular, this is a square. It's got champagne gold hardware and it's so sparkly. Okay guys, I've got these three beautiful Chanel bags. I'm gonna try them each on for you guys. The seasonal piece, the 19 and the classic flap. I'm gonna start with this one. Here is the sequin bag and it's got a super long drop length which I actually prefer a shorter one because yeah it just hangs a little bit too low I just think it looks better a crossbody that's a little bit higher up um, but it's such a nice bag you can also double it up uh, let me show you what that looks like so there it is doubled up on the shoulder cute little shoulder bag let me show you the next piece here's the Chanel 19 bag such a pretty piece. Here it is, cross body. And then let me just quickly show you what it looks like on the shoulder. I just love this colorway, it's really nice. Again, I'm not a big fan of the 19, but out of all of them, the tweed ones are so nice. Okay, so here's the super classic Chanel medium flap. And um, the thing that's really cool about this bag, I didn't realize, it's a matte silver hardware. Let me show you guys, look at that. You don't see that very often. I feel like that looks really pretty. Um, and yeah, you can't really get more classic than this. So I think this is gonna probably be the last Chanel bag that I try on, but I'm definitely gonna show you a lot more bags now. I'm also gonna show you guys some of the watches because I know some of you are really into watches. I've never really known much about them, but here we are, look at these. And how do we pronounce this? Audemars Piget. And look at this one. Very fancy. Um, we've got some gorgeous Rolexes. I feel like this is a Submariner, maybe? Yes, it is a Submariner. I'm learning. This one's got this gorgeous um, like emerald green face with the diamonds. This one is a day date. Let me zoom out, it's not focusing. There we go. Really pretty. There's some Cartier jewelry over here. Got this gorgeous Van Cleef. These are the Alihambras in the gold. And then they've got the black mother of pearl with a diamond. We've got some Hermes jewelry over here. Some of their fine jewelry. Look at that little baby Birkin. Is it focusing? Little diamonds. And then this over here is their Supreme um, Tiffany collaboration, which is really cool. Like very sought after, hard to get pieces when it came out. It's got the freshwater pearls, and those are two other little Tiffany pieces. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this in this vlog, but I do wanna show you a bit of the cage, which is really cool. Ooh, look at this Chanel bag over here. This one, beautiful in the brown. Um, I did promise you guys a cage vlog, but I wasn't able to do it this time because um, I, they were really amazing. Like last minute, I asked them to come here but I promise you guys, I will get you inside of this cage eventually. Um, let me show you the other side where the Birkins are. Look at that. I mean, how great would a cage vlog be? I will show you all these incredible bags. They have, I mean, thousands, tens of thousands of bags. The Cellier Kelly is so pretty. These are all in the size 30. Actually, this one over here is a baby Birkin in 25. Um, and that green color is so nice, but so many gorgeous bags and look at all those orange boxes it's crazy um and then that over there's a special order horseshoe bag you can see it with the purple and the blue that brown is really pretty so many great pieces like even this one look how unique this one is it's tricolor it's got i think that's like a rouge h brown honey this one as well. I think these, yeah, this one's another ostrich horseshoe. 
so many great pieces. I'm gonna end off this vlog by showing you a little bit of Celine. They've got Bottega, Dior. Um, there's a lot of great pieces here. Love this horse bit bag by Gucci. And this clutch is so nice. Super chic, that one. Love that. They've got the Jackie bag over there in monogram. And then my favorite bag, the Celine box bag in medium. This is such a great bag. I mean, like, that'll never go out of style. This is a newer piece from Celine. Again, really classic. This one looks really great with the silver hardware, which you don't really see too much of. And then they've got some of their Triumph pieces over here. And let me show you some Bottega. So this is the mini Jody bag but this one has the chain version and it's a little bit smaller, I think, than the normal mini Jody bag. Um, honestly, I just like it without the chain. I don't really like the chain, but I love the mini Jody bag. And then over here, they've got the cassette bag. They got a little baby version. They've got the little mini pouch. And then over here, there's a super vintage Lady Dior bag. This is in the large size in patent leather. Um, I wonder how old this one is. It's still like, it's not terrible condition, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a great price point because, oh, that's the other thing. I'm gonna be linking everything. Um, I probably already said that, but yeah, I'm gonna link everything in the description box. So check out the description box. If you're interested in any of these bags, they're all gonna be linked. And then this, Gorgeous. This is My Lady Dior. It's so like a little bit smaller than the medium size and it's got the black acrylic. Really pretty. And then this over here, these great little, um, what are these? They are the Caro bag. This is the little baby mini version. And this one over here is, I believe, the medium size of the Caro bag. Yeah. Such a great piece. I love this one. There's some Fendi over here. Okay, this is the last wall, so I'm gonna be ending the video here, guys, by showing you some of these imprompt pieces from Louis Vuitton. This over here, uh, sac plat. It's a cute little piece. Um, these are the on the go. They've got a little speedy here. There's some Prada. I love this piece over here. This one is a newer piece. They're classic loafers. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, check out the description box if you're interested in any of these bags. If you're in New York City, you can head down to Fashion File. They'd love to have you come to the showroom. Everyone's welcome. You just make an appointment. And um, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh,